मनोबल बढ़ा रहे थे और इस समय में इसरो चीफ एक पत्रकार वार्ता कर रहे हैं आइए आपको सीधे लिए चलते हैं इस पत्रकार वार्ता में so and we have designed it in a simple manner which is industry friendly for production and at lower cost and very short assembly time integration time testing time and has an architecture which is more failure proof and the use uh, commercial optional components so there are many features that we have built into the rocket to make it very industry friendly and we are hoping that there is a huge amount of interest and uh, they will come out with a, a good proposal finally and the whole activity of industry technology transfer uh activities being initiated through in space after they finalize the industry consortium isro will work with the industry for knowledge transfer and ensil will place orders on them for for the launches and uh, coming to the satellite this satellite is a micro satellite series but with a lot of improvements as already we have put up the detail in website on what all features it has and also very interesting three payloads all details are already known to you i don't want to repeat and we are waiting for it to Uh, start functioning everything is going well in the initial phase uh, and post uh, next to 3 days of time the satellite will become ready for imaging and we will be able to show you the first of images very soon i hope if everything goes well so thank you once again and on the dais we have the directors of uh, sds ishak rajarajan director of bssc uh, shri dr nikesh nayar director of ursc shri shankaran uh, the director of lpsc dr narayanan Uh, the mission director Mr. Vinod and the director of the spacecraft project Avinash. So questions, please. Now well, let us talk about this launch first. Any more questions on this launch? Sir, the take off will be provided to others, but what were the launch plans? Will it be done on this so platform, or are you also planning for it to be done private? Yeah. yeah the, what do you mean by this platform? Launch launch pad. No launch pad. There are two launch pad. One we have the one at Satish Savan Space Center, what we have here, and we are building new one at Kutukudi, uh, that Kulashagra uh, Patanam, and that construction has just started, and it will take two years to commission. But up to that time, whatever launches are to happen, it will happen from Shah. But beyond that, also it, it need to happen from both Shah and SR and Kulashagra Patanam, depending upon launch asymmetry. You know, when you launch from Kulashagra Patanam, you cannot launch towards east. Because of Sri Lanka, you can launch towards south. So all southern launches can happen from Golasagar uh, Patanam, which will be more efficient. And launch like today, which is at 37 degree inclination, has to happen only from Shah because we cannot make that launch from there. Can still be launched, but with a lower payload. So we will have to look at how sharing will happen. The polar launches will take from there, and others will happen from here. That's what launch has been launched. Let us know. Let us know. I didn't get the question. Is it the carbon? No, that this vehicle is ready. It can be realized in every month, but it's a development process. It is not in production. So the production model is different than development model. When a production system, orders are given for tens and tens of rockets. So we will be able to produce in numbers, like car production. If you are making one car, after that you are making second car. It will take one year. But if you are making hundred thousand cars or ten thousand cars in one series, it will take very small time between them. So it is simply an issue of the planning process of production. So nothing to do with the, this gap. This much is enough for development program because we are in the process of development. Oh. But in the operation regime, it will be much shorter. Oh. It will be private only, and ISRO will only help them to understand and use it. On technology, can we help? Yeah. रिटर्न and we brought all the people who are interested to take up this technology all industries came forward as single as consortia we called all of them to isro in space as organized it <laughs> had a one day long interaction to understand what are their issues of uh, technology transfer how to do it our expectations of them etc so that dialogue is already over 
So from that we understand there is a huge amount of interest to learn and we also told them that it is a huge challenge to anybody to learn rocketry from scratch. It is not just manufacturing technology we are transferring, we are transferring the knowledge also of how things are done, not how, you know, the, not the, how the drawings alone but the, the knowledge behind it also we want to transfer. So that requires working with us. It is simply not a technology transfer document or a drawing that we are giving, they are asked, coming inside ISRO working with us and learning it. Technicians, uh, supervisors, planning, planning, designers, everybody will come. So we are actually teaching them how to build the rocket. And companies who have an ability to learn this with certain expertise. So we have catalogued what are the skills that industry should possess. They should not only, a, not just a manufacturing industry, but should be an industry with a background in aerodynamics, thermal design, control system, electronics. Many domains are involved. If this domain skill, the people are there only, then they can understand. So we have set a right set of criteria. Our RFP documents talks about all these criteria, and we will look at criteria of manufacturability, their capability and facilities, um, and uh, financial strength of the company, and many other factors. We have put it for each one of them. We have put weightage and marks, which is public document, and based on that, the companies will be shortlisted and the uh, final contract will be given. And they have to also pay for the technology transfer fee. And if they are willing to pay only, they, it will be given. And uh, <coughs> this is only for domestic companies and not meant for foreign companies. Sir, uh, in this particular satellite and in this particular mission, we have seen a 500 uh, KG payload class rocket left a 175 KG payload class satellite. So, I mean, if you could just explain uh, why is it that we did not utilize the max payload one? And also, uh, was there a possibility of sort of uh, utilizing the payload more by increasing the fuel and thereby increasing the life of the satellite. Have any rational data? So it is simple. Its capability is still 500. So what we did is we have put we have to put the dummy masses to design the whole vehicle. Otherwise, what will happen is being a solid rocket, uh, it can overperform. So if the payload is not less, if the payload is less. So what we did is we put the sufficient dummy masses to offset that part. Uh, it all happens with the what is available at a given point in time for a mission. Every satellite cannot be ejected to a, any orbit. So at this point, I have only this satellite. If there is a satellite, why 500 kilograms is available? It would have been good, but it's not available. So I believe that uh, when a rocket is designed, it is always designed for a very high capability, and based on demand, it will be utilized. So, so, so you're saying that 175 plus uh, 200 plus kg mass. So it was actually 500 kilos that flew, but it's the payload. तो इसरो चेयरमैन एस सोमनाथ को अभी आप सुन रहे थे जो कि साफ तौर पर कह रहे थे कि ऑल इज वेल यानी कि 